What's happening everybody? This is Jesse Lee and we're in our Clavio SMS tutorial part 4C and this is all about uploading SMS contacts to Clavio from another provider. We talked about how to start that in the last video, but this one is going to be if you're having trouble, uh, this is a, a troubleshooting video to help you um, get past those errors because that upload process is actually kind of a inconvenient. All right, so remember this is multiple parts. I'll link the whole guide below, so check down there if you want the rest of these videos and sub videos. Seven major parts, but there's a ton of videos in here because there's like a four A, B, and C. Uh, there's multiple ones and twos and threes, three A, three B. So just uh, check that out. Uh, link the whole guide below, like I said. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. All right, so uh, SMS list uploading troubleshooting. All right, remember in the last video, we talked about two things that you need to do to upload your list from the welcome flow. And we talked about how to do this first one and the last one. Exclude uh, this list from any welcome flows that you have live. All right, we did that. And then the second part to this is upload the list, minding the formatting. All right, so uh, what do you need in your list? All right, so... The first thing, and if you remember, let me go back because I have this here. This is what the error would look like. You'll get this yellow box with some sort of error. Now you notice mine didn't have a country code on my CSV. This is 90% of the time when I have clients, this is what they forget. And not they might not forget it, but whoever they're exporting from, they didn't, they didn't get a country code, all right? There, you only need three things. You need the phone number, the country code or column, again, we'll talk about the either or there and how to do both. And then the timestamp, this is recommended, but again, you can override that. We talked about that in the last video, but I can cover it again real quick in this one. All right, so these are the only three, th three things you need. So this, remember our CSV, we'd exported name, email address, timestamp, phone number, consent. I've seen this, different providers have other columns called consent and they'll say yes or no, SMS, email, or both. Um, birthdays, dog's names, grandma's secret identity, any other uh, columns, right, besides country and phone number and timestamp are needless. So if you get uh, any errors, because this these error messages can be kind of vague, the first step is just start deleting these other columns, right? I would just say get rid of them. And you're gonna have, by the way, dates. I mean, these just have like, right? This could be filled with 10,000 email addresses and 10,000, um, you know, 10,000 uh, names. And so I would just come in here and delete the column. Delete the column here. Uh, now, before you do this, I should have said this. Before you do this, make sure actually to make a copy with your original and the reason why is because if we need to override this timestamp we want the original timestamp to be able to prove that this person actually opted in uh, in the case uh, you need to defend yourself in court or something right because SMS it's much more strict than email so this has happened and it, w it does happen and it will happen and it will continue to happen SMS lawsuits happen all the time so making sure you have proper documentation of when people opted in before you delete those columns, do not delete the timestamp column before making a copy. And, and to do that in Google Sheets, you just come in here and say, make a copy. If you're in another program, figure it out. All right, so uh, other columns we don't need. We don't need the birthday column. We don't need the consent column, believe it or not, because the timestamp counts for the consent. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna move this timestamp column. I'm gonna move this over. I'm gonna move the phone column here just because I like this formatting and we're gonna move the country column here oh, the whole column not just that all right so you might have this USA all the way down phone number is five 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 and then this will be all the way down and then and again these are copied and pasted but pretend that these are all different numbers right so the first thing I want to make known is, is that if you try to upload, so the next step would just be try to upload this, right? In which case, if you still get an error message and it's kind of vague, what you're going to need to do is check out more of the formatting. So there's timestamp formatting we need to take into account and there's phone number formatting. Now, a lot of people, they'll say like, well, hey, uh, some of my customers will say, Jesse, like, well, when I uh, tried uploading my list, um, I had a bunch of numbers, um, that uh, got rejected, like it just didn't upload. 
and then I look at their numbers, and it's like 50 freaking numbers long, and it's clearly not a real phone number, right? <laughs> Clavio can't upload this as a phone number. That's not a legit phone number. So it's got to be, if you're in the USA, it's got to be one of these 10-digit phone numbers with, uh, if you have the one in front of it, the country code, which I'll show you how to do in a moment, it'll be 11. Uh, for Australia and the UK, I believe they're different. I don't remember what they are. I think Canada might also be the same number. Um, I, I don't quite remember. But whatever country you're in, right now, Clavy only has the US, Canada, Australia, and the UK as SMS. But they're launching countries all the time. So in the event that whatever country you're looking to import consent for, uh, you need to make sure they have the right amount of numbers and the right formatting. All right? Now... Formatting for the timestamp, what does that look like? Well, that looks like any one of these. Um, so I will uh, leave this here momentarily so that you can take a screenshot of this and check this. All right, so go ahead and pause this. And um, if you need to uh, take a screenshot, you can, or you can actually search for this, um, this article, acceptable date and timestamp formats for profile event properties. This is in the developers.clavio.com. Uh, so I'll leave that there again, just real quick. Um, and then uh, phone number formats, right? I'm gonna also link you to another article, Clavio SMS phone number formats. Here are some of the acceptable phone number formats for Clavio. All right, so you have just a string of numbers and then the country code in, in the front. Um, you have, yeah, just different, all of these different ones. So I tend to keep it simple. Um, mine looks like this. Um, now, if you have the country column, this should work, uh, and you can try uploading that. Now, if you try that, you've tried a third time, and you're still getting error messages here saying you have formatting issues. Um, you could also try this if you don't have the country column, right? Again, you don't absolutely have to, uh, oh yeah, actually, let me talk about the timestamp. If you need to, again, make a copy of this so you actually have record before you delete this. But you can delete this and then override, gosh darn it, I keep on opening the wrong window. You can override, again, I'll show you how to do it again, I'll upload my CSV. Notice here's the timestamp, the SMS consent timestamp. Um, that's the column it's mapping. Let's say I don't have that timestamp, right? Uh, it's going to tell me explicit consent is needed. So what I can do is come in here to update, and I'll say update consent, and then that should work. So we'll import review. Uh, oh, it's two columns that still need reviewed. Yeah, all right. And then we'll just get rid of these because there's nothing there. We'll, in fact, get rid of all this stuff. Like I said, you don't need stuff that is not needed. And um, again, because I don't have the country code, this is not going to work. Yeah, so uh, three records are skipped because of no data. Now, if we don't have the timestamp and then we don't have the country column, you can get away with just the phone number column if you have the country code in there. What does the country code look like? Well, let me zoom in here for you. All right, the country code, if you get this out of my way, gosh, these pop-ups really kill me. I really do not like pop-ups. Um, what it's gonna look like is plus one dash, right? Now, what's the problem with that? If I hit enter, see what just happened? Google Sheets thinks that that's a formula, so I need to undo that. And now, what I need to do is use what they call a concatenate formula. And so let me show you what that looks like. This is the concatenate for you, formula. Equals concatenate plus C2, or whatever column you're doing, right? Um, so let me come back here. I'm going to copy this, right? And we'll just do it in this other column here, right? Again, equals concatenate. And then uh, I can never remember this. Let's see. Quotes around a plus quote plus and then uh, what you want to do is the comma and then whatever cell you're trying to concatenate comma 
and right now we're going to do A2. Boom. Notice, yeah, now you have this plus in front of there. And so that counts as, <laughs> for some reason, I don't know why the plus counts as a country code, but it does. So now you basically can just drag that down. I don't know if you saw what I just did there. In here, if you want to concatenate this whole thing, all you have to do in Google Sheets is drag down, and you'll notice it'll add that plus before every single phone number, right? So, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now what you would do is just take this, copy it, paste there. Oh, oops. Uh, what's going on? Yeah, actually, here's what you got to do is you uh, move all of these to somewhere else, and then when you do this upload, you bring these over here. Now we have in the, now this one's, well, come on, what the heck is going on? Let's just get rid of that. Okay, cool. So now, as you can see, under the phone column, we have all of these pluses before the phone number. Don't ask me why this can replace a country code. It just can. So if you're really being minimalistic, <laughs> technically, again, Clavio would not recommend that you do this without a timestamp. We can't, I mean, Clavio won't ever say that you can or can't do that legally. They just don't recommend doing it without because that is how Clavio tells, you know, when you actually got that. So if you keep your own copy of your CSV with the timestamp, that's great. Uh, Again, you need the country code or column. If you don't have the column, you can put this country code. Oh, I forgot the one because that's the country code, right? That's what I meant to do. And then if, if you're in, uh, I think the UK is plus four, four, I want to say. And then uh, what is Australia it might be six, one, something like that. Yeah, so whatever whatever country you're in, just making sure that that formatting is correct. So again, acceptable phone number formats are here. It's a huge pain in the butt to do this, but that's what you got to do. Again, last final thing is if you have like a 50 number phone number or like a two number phone number, those are not real phone numbers. You might get some that are more or less that you're just going to have to skip and that's all there is to it. So. Uh, that's uh, pretty much in terms of how to troubleshoot. Um, yeah, you get rid of everything else that's not, I keep on passing by the slide. Get everything, get rid of everything else that's not one of these three columns. And if you're still having trouble, get rid of the time stamp, manually override. And then you could try getting rid of the country column and uh, adding the plus uh, whatever the country code is to that phone number, All right? So let's see. Oh, yeah, if you, we're just about done here. If you want any uh, videos, uh, you should comment below because I make videos for people all the time. Um, in fact, this, I think this was a request videos from one of my customers, if I'm not, maybe not. Um, but yeah, comment below and I'll make you a video. And then if you uh, want to keep moving on with this series to go along with all those other parts, then just click here for that next video and uh, I'll see you then.